The Obligatory Penguin Poem. Okay, let's just get it out of the way. They are impossibly cute. Perhaps the hardest thing about walking the beach at Half Moon Island is fighting the urge to pick one up and snuggle it like a stuffed animal, regardless of what it might have to say about the embrace. And yes, they do stink. There is no getting away from it. Even though I chafe at the complaints of pampered tourists, like me, who whine about the odor that clings to their red parkas and borrowed boots. And sure, they are a noisy lot, gabbling incessantly with an urgency that suggests they do indeed have a message for us, if only we would put down our cameras long enough to listen. Oh, so easy to sentimentalize, to romanticize, to anthropomorphize, to close our eyes to the fact that our very presence here is a threat to their existence, no matter how hard we may try to rationalize. The world without us. I have seen it, you know, and it is beautiful. Infinite blue sky alive with petrels and albatross, endless blue waters swarming with iridescent krill, a continent some think desolate, brims with life at its most resilient. Over eight million chinstrap penguins and not a single politician, Starbucks, or bank. If someone asked you to imagine the world without us, you might think it empty and grim, but the whales in Paradise Bay would beg to differ, and the elephant seals lounging on the beach at Half Moon Island would snore contentedly and never miss us. Thank you.